Hey guys, hey guys, I'm Jose. I'm Lupe. We're back to react to Over the Garden Wall, episode three. This is called well three and four, but this first one is called School Town Follies. Mm -hmm. So last two episodes we were introduced to Wirt and Greg, brothers who are lost in the forest and they're trying to get home. They found a woodsman and then they were attacked by a wolf. <laughs> they knocked the woodsman out, and turns out it was a dog. Turns out it was a dog who swallowed a turtle, and now the second episode. We went to Had Had the Haddonfield, Haddonfield, no Haddonfield's Michael Myers town. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Old pot, pot pots pots Potsville. Potsville. Pots? some something okay. pumpkins skeleton pumpkins. We found Beatrice, who's a bird, and she owes them a favor because Greg helped her out of a bush. And now we're going. We left the town. Uh, they were creepy, but they weren't evil. The pumpkin people. And now we're going to Adelaide's house, where, is, where Beatrice is trying to head to. She's taking them because, I mean, they don't really have anywhere else to go. Maybe she'll, like, give them directions. So, that's where we're headed. And these next two episodes are going to be nice. I like this episode. This third one? Yeah, this has a song that I really like. Okay. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So, let's get into it. Let's go. To Adelaide. To Adelaide. <laughs> is this a song? No, this isn't the song. <laughs> No. no. <laughs> Let's go to Adelaide's house. I need to fix that last part. I like the music's going along with the song. Yeah. And work, keep moving. But I, I have to. Uh, all right. His shoes are different colors. Greg, don't you want to be more like your brother? Just always doing what you're told. Huh? Just a quick <laughs> pushover who relax. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you barely know him. Hold on, Wirt. Let me get to my point. <sighs> Fine. See, Greg, no <laughs> willpower. What? <laughs> doesn't really sound that fun. The world is a miserable place, Greg. Life isn't fun. <laughs> what the heck? Just focus on getting you guys to Adelaide. And if you could pick up the pace a bit, that'd be great. They're okay? not there anymore. Hey, where's oh. my... <laughs> oh, uh, wandered off, I guess. Cheese and crackers. School? Psh, not today. Small school in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Excuse me? Please, take your seat, what? children. What? What is this? Wait. Oh, sorry, everybody. Sorry. No, he doesn't have a brain. He can't learn anything. <laughs> what? Oh, did you say something? I, I can't hear you because I'm too busy doing what I'm told. What? <laughs> <laughs> your brother! I'm a pushover, remember? I have to do what she tells me to do. Oh, what? <laughs> your brother could be in trouble somewhere. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> Bluebirds have a short lifespan. You two are literally killing me every moment. <laughs> I will not stand for such nonsense in my classroom. I got enough nonsense from that no good, two tiny, low down, handsome man of mine. <laughs> and now, with my father threatening to close the school, and that. Throwing her business all out at the students. Why, Jimmy, I just have one thing to say. A is for the apple that he gave to. Okay, there's actually a lot of songs in this episode. B is for beloved that I called to. Ooh, that lady's got some baggage. <laughs> Go to the dance box. Oh no. Oh, sure. Oh, oh, my no. theory is hot dogs are not actually. The poor animals, they can't go to school. Look at their clothes. <laughs> They're not rich enough. <laughs> you guys don't go to school, huh? Well, turtle. I'm gonna stick with you guys. Why did you throw it? <laughs> Let's play two old cat. Do you guys know how to play two old cat? Why are they sitting there? <laughs> Yo. Here's one old <coughs> oh my god. Oh. Uh, I think that cat is too old. Ah. We'll have to find another old cat. No. <laughs> You're not supposed to give him milk. That's the beast. Ah. Oh. A gorilla. Oh. This is dreadful. Good. I'm glad you feel that way. Gorilla! Huh? Oh. Meal time already? Well, come along, children. You suck. My father will be visiting today, and we'll need to be on our best behavior. Quick, in here! No, she let them in. <laughs> this is way better than being chased. It's just sour cream. Mm. Oh, what's the matter? Mmm, kind of bland. Look at all of them. So sad. Hey, School lunch. Yet. Yeah, but... Mm. <laughs> Jim. Jim. He's right there. Play something like this. <laughs> or like this? <laughs> mm, good enough. 
Yo, yo, yo! Ah! Uh, potatoes and molasses. If you want. This is a song. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. They're so much sweeter than algebra class. Have you tried molasses? No. What is that? Oh, potatoes and molasses. Look at how happy they are. Sweeten up when you start to stuff. Oh, potatoes <laughs> and molasses. Where are they got all these instruments from? <laughs> Band class. For potatoes and molasses. Potatoes and molasses. That's no. Father. Is this what I've been paying for? I thought we were trying to do important work here. Teaching animals to count and spell. <laughs> Wait. This. <What? laughs> and this are all coming with me. Off to bed with you. It's still daytime. <laughs> like an orphanage, or is this like a boarding school? Feels like an orphanage. Yeah, it kind of feels like that. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, little raccoon. I just made everything worse. Okay, we're His hair is like that too. <laughs> Deep down in your heart, you're a stubborn jerk. When are you gonna give this up? Maybe never. Maybe I'll never give this up. <laughs> Come on, Wart. Let's go save the day. Okay, if you say so. They're on the first story, why do you have to do that? <laughs> well, he's tiny. <laughs> Who would have thought making a huh? primer school for animals was a bad idea? My life, <laughs> and now I'm forced to sell these instruments just to keep it open. Oh. Yeah, he's poor. <sighs> if only... He sleeps there. <laughs> right for a change. Oh. A tent with his suit and a trombone. <laughs> I think he's asleep. Let's go steal his stuff. What? <laughs> the instruments. They've been stolen! Huh? Oh, there's actual people living there. Can you just ask them how to get home? <laughs> hey, it's a benefit concert for the school. Uh, isn't it grand? Not like my Jimmy Brown. <laughs> oh, here we go. All he ever did was steal my heart away. Oh, young man, do something! Uh, Stop the gorilla. There he is. Jimmy. That's right, darling. I was the gorilla. <laughs> got a job in the circus so I could finally buy you that wedding ring. But when mm -hmm. I got stuck in the dang suit, everybody was too doggone scared to help me out. How long were you in there? Wow. What did you eat? <laughs> <laughs> I guess the world really is as sweet as potatoes and molasses. <laughs> Oh no. And molasses. Now I want to try it. I want to try potatoes and molasses. Hey, Wirt. Yeah? Tie your shoe. Hmm? Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. Kind of saved their life though. <laughs> Not their life, but it kind of unsolved the mystery. Yeah, the gorilla. That's it. This was the least creepy yeah, episode. No, I liked it. Nothing creepy happened other than, I mean, the creepiest part was the gorilla. But that turned out to be Jimmy. Or Jim. Yeah, but they're all animals, so it doesn't yeah. matter. The animal school. The potatoes and molasses music bop. Um, yeah, there's a school just... Was school like this? Like, what what a, what era would this be in? Like, the school where, you know, there was a bell and you had to go in there and you ate in one building. and You know, like this, like a tiny little school. Uh, I don't know what era, but I've seen it in and with an E. Oh, the, uh, I know what you're talking about. They don't even have, like, the, like, the refrigerator is the river. Mm. They put their milks there, the little milk. But yeah, it's very, like, old-timey. If, yeah. you, if you've noticed, there's, oh, no, yeah. there's no technology here. It's like more like our, I don't know, well, at least for me, like, the old cartoons. The Bearstain Bears and... I remember that. The bear, oh, it was really good. I like the Bearstain Bears. Different, like, shows that aren't, like, too advanced. I don't know. It feels very old timey. It feels like retro. I don't know when this came out, but uh, yeah, this is like a a very different age that the characters are in. Uh, potatoes and molasses. The potatoes they didn't have any flavors, so you had to sweeten them with molasses. I don't know what molasses is, but according to this song, it's sweet. <laughs> now you want to try it. School potatoes are always terrible, but I always ate them. They were like. They were weird. They were like, one time they gave it to us, they were like balls. 
They weren't like actually. Like, they were like squishy, and you could people were like playing catch with the potatoes. <laughs> I don't remember that. That was funny. I, and then we threw them up at like the ceiling, and they wouldn't come down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they would just stay there. I wouldn't be surprised if they're still there. <laughs> the uh, our mashed potatoes were too, but not as like squishy. Like with the with the spoon, you could just go like this, and they like made a little dent, but they didn't break. <laughs> Yeah, we we were playing catch with the potatoes in school. <laughs> school food is weird. Terrible. And then they had like these veggie boats, the veggie boats where where they put like instead of a pizza boat, it's a veggie boat. They put like broccoli and spinach. I in vaguely it. remember those, but I remember pizza boats. It was just like, red cheese, and it was all soggy. By the time you got into it, it was terrible. Now we were lucky if we got that. We got freaking veggie boats. It's like bland and then like the vegetables weren't even seasoned there was no garlic there was nothing there was just tomato sauce slap on the cheese and slap on the spinach and broccoli like big pieces of broccoli like, why it's not even cooked all the way <laughs> my favorite school lunch was the chicken sandwiches the hot dogs and sometimes the pizzas and there was a slushy machine we could buy like a dollar for a slushy yeah, and they took those away <laughs> lucky you we didn't get that <laughs> we had those for like a month Oh, and God. everyone would keep buying them, and it took them away. <laughs> I don't know why. You're making money. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. And the vending machines, they, like, took those away, too. I don't know. School was weird. School was weird. The fa- my favorite drink was the strawberry milks. Oh, the strawberry milks were so good. Except some of them were expired, so oh, you yeah. to test your luck. Or just read the label. There was a worm in an apple one time. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about Over the Garden Major. Wall. Okay. Uh, so, as you can see, I don't want to say anything. Okay. They're, like, they're dressed up. Funny. He's got a teapot on his head, and he's got, like, a gnome outfit. And Beatrice is a talking bird. That'll make sense later. But, you know, just take, a, take note of the settings and the characters. Like, their appearances. Their appearances, the way they act, and stuff like that. And, like, some clues that are hidden in the show, like the background or something. All right. Like, you notice Jim. Like, the, yeah. the picture of him. <laughs> yeah, that was him. And then they finally revealed him in the gorilla outfit. And you're like, hey, that's the guy we saw. Uh, so, yeah, it, this show does a lot of that. So, make sure to, like, keep an eye out for stuff. Okay. You should have told me that episode one. Well, I don't know if there was that many important things in episode one. But like, from okay. here on out, it's like... All right, all right. You know, we'll meet more people and stuff. Well, I guess it's on to episode four. Yeah, on to episode four. It's called Songs of the Dark Lantern. So, here we go. I love this little opening theme. Reminds me of something though. I don't know what. <laughs> I'm gonna try to place it before. Songs of the Dark Lantern. A turtle. They're everywhere. Oh no! The beast is upon me! Oh. Shh. Quack. Quack. <laughs> 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 Good luck. So they cross paths with the woodsman again? That crazy driver's taking us way off course. Really? Yeah, who knows where. You're back to where you started. <laughs> The oh, ducks. you drop everything. You, you drop your entire load. Let's go to this creepy tavern and ask for some directions. But oh no, no! A dead horse. <laughs> he says no. Get out of there. Fine, yeah, I'll do everything. What? I'm hungry. Sometimes he does things that are okay, and sometimes it's really weird. <laughs> He's creepy. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me, there. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> What you doing around there? What's that bird you got there? Kids and I got a bit lost in the. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> no birds allowed here. It's a bad omen when a bluebird enters through your door. Oh. It's bad luck. Lady, bluebirds are good luck. Curse you, lady. Curse you. You'll die someday, and I'll oh. laugh. Laugh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wirt, and this is Gregory. Where'd you That's get the money for to pay for it? I don't have anything. That's a horse. Well, he's the butcher. I'm the butcher. The baker. Yeah! The tailor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And so I'm sad. the tavern keeper. Who are you? Uh, just sort of like myself, you know. We're, we're trying to get to. I'm the highway man. <laughs> Good to know. I make ends meet, just like any man. <laughs> I will knock you out. The angle. Just like a fever <laughs> dream. What is this? I love that. They just allow him in here. <laughs> Probably had like a little pact. Like, don't touch us. Let you highway man your way out of here. Hmm? Who's out there? How much food are you getting? 
I was wondering if you knew the way her name is Adelaide and Oh, it's a girl you're after, eh? No, I mean yes. Are you not the witless simple minded fool everybody takes you for? Oh, <laughs> Try the loving letter boy that sloops and sweeps and curls. Then you'll need to dress up smart. The tailor's here by chance. You stitch your trousers, hold your bed high. You deep diddly um the dum today. What a merry time we'll have upon your wedding day. What? There's work for all when little boys get married. Don't he say that's so creepy? <laughs> oh hey, Beatrice, you want some food too? No, how's work doing getting directions? What about that woodsman? Let's go check on him. His voice better than anybody, huh? Yeah, I love her. Sing us your love song. Love song. Yeah, I love her. Sing us your love song. <laughs> some of this reminds me of like some Invader Zim stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love random it. Random things. My name is Wirt and his name is Greg. We're related because my mom remarried him in game. Oh. <laughs> my stepdad. Okay, this is. <laughs> We're not from around here. Backstory. Yeah. So we can be on our <sighs> way. <laughs> this ain't no love song. I know what you are. You're a pilgrim. You're a traveler on a sacred journey. Tell us your feet, pilgrim. What are the challenges? One time, work fell on a gorilla. Wow. <laughs> and helped me find this frog. <laughs> All the plates he ate. Yeah. To avoid the beast. <gasps> the beast. The, 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 the beast. Oh, okay. He looks out there in the unknown. Everybody's got their own song. Oh. Oh, I got the dog. Beast is out there. He'll turn you to a tree of oil. Tree of oil? Tree of oil. Lantern. The woodsman was the guy with the weird lantern, not the beast. Pilgrim, he who carries the dark lantern must be the beast. He warned us of the beast and told us which direction to go to avoid him. And now you're more lost than ever, huh? You don't need directions, Pilgrim. You follow that compass inside your heart. <laughs> no, I think we need directions. <gasps> Beatrice! Go save your friend and get yourself home! <laughs> Guys, we're of no help. Yeah, I guess it was just food. Didn't pay. Yeah, didn't pay. Get out of there! Greg, come here! Horse. Horse. I'm just gonna pretend like I can ride you, alright? Pretend like you can ride you. Beatrice? Oh no! Oh. I told you to leave these woods. <gasps> oh, Beatrice, you were the beast all along. Oh, Greg, get Beatrice. <laughs> the beast is upon you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the horse. I saw a weird shadow and then stupidly flew into a tree and got knocked out. So it wasn't the guy. No. You were supposed to get directions. I did. We just got directions from Fred before you woke up. Fred the horse. Oh. Nice the horse. You're a queen. <laughs> the whole laughing. time. <laughs> Means you're running out of oil, woodsman. Oh, oh yeah. Let me take the lantern. Take on, beast! I fought you for the lantern before, and I'll fight you again. No need for violence, woodsman. Oh my god, this is so... For your daughter's flame will go out forever. You leave those children me! <laughs> beast! Beast! Singing. The singing voice was the beast. Okay, so we finally met the beast. We saw, a, well, we saw his shadow. So Beatrice, she said she saw a shadow and then got knocked out by the tree. <laughs> so the, she, I think she saw the beast and then freaked out and hit the tree. Mm. And the, the people in there were right, but they weren't referring to the wood, like the wood guy. They were referring to the, the beast who was singing about oil and flames. Yeah, the beast was singing. We heard him singing earlier in the episode. We didn't know it was him. And the townspeople, I mean, they weren't really of help. They just, I mean, they kind of gave him food. They got a horse and a lantern out of it, so I guess that's good. And now we're riding out into, I mean, just a general direction, hoping to find Adelaide's house. Because we, nobody knows where she is, apparently, uh, other than Beatrice. Uh, or, I mean, maybe they do, but they're, they just don't want to get directions. <laughs> they're just weird. The follow your heart thing. That's so dumb. <laughs> so, uh, I forget how musical the show is. But yeah, there's a lot of songs. I like the music. It kind of tones it, it down. I like it. Unless it's like the Highwayman. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing creepy this episode other than the Highwayman and our first look at the Beast. The Beast is pretty cool. Hiding in the shadows, glowing white eyes. And it has horns, like and a moose. Horns. Yeah, like a deer <laughs> a of moose. some sort. 
And uh, the hunt, uh, not the hunter, the woodsman and the beast know each other. They talk to each other. The woodsman doesn't like him very much, but the beast just keeps bothering him, I guess. Well, obviously, because I think he did something to the daughters. Just yeah. stuck in the lamp. The daughters in the lantern. Got to get her out somehow. Hmm. So, that was it. The, these two episodes. They're so, like, short and brief to the point. There's not much to talk about at the end of them. No? Uh, I, I don't really know what to say, but... Uh, if y'all enjoyed these two episodes, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what y'all thought. And until next upload, we will see you later. Goodbye.